The producer of the song, Yoshinoya, had not much to say about the claims that Childish Gambino made fun of Drake on his latest release. Since the release of Yoshinoya on Gambino's new album Bandostone The New World, people have been speculating that the song is a drizzy diss. Someone dissected certain words from the song and explained how they might be a slight in a specific ex post. They began by pointing out that Gambino had previously acknowledged in a GQ interview that This Is America was originally a Drake diss track. As a result, Drake responded on his tour by displaying a headline that said, The overrated and overawarded hit song This Is America was originally a Drake diss record. On the big screen. Then they dissected other lines from the song, stating that it's a reference to the Toronto sensation The Guy, who was criticized by Kendrick Lamar, and that I put your boy in the street, you got your biz in the streets, the song's producer, Michael Yuzawaru, retweeted the thread on Wednesday, July 24, using a screenshot of Terence Punch Henderson, president of Top Dog Entertainment, stating only lol. In contrast, Childish Gambino has had poor first-week sales in the past, and it appears that this tendency will continue with Bando Stone The New World. The rapper-slash-actor's fifth album, which includes 3,000 pure sales, is expected to garner 35,000 album-equivalent units in its first week of sales. According to Hits Daily Double, with that number, the album will only launch at number 15 on the Billboard 200 chart, missing out on a top-10 debut. Gambino has found it difficult to duplicate his stellar first-week performance from the 2010s, before Billboard started to incorporate streaming toward album sales, his 2013 album Because the Internet opened at number 7 on the Billboard 200 with 96,000 copies sold in its first week. Three years later, the soul and funk-infused Awaken, My Love, performed even better. Breaking into the top 5 on the list with 101,000 units sold in its first week of release, however, Bino's follow-up project March 15, 20 saw a steep fall in sales, registering only 25,000 equivalent units in the first seven days of its release. The album was later republished under the name Atavista after being taken down from streaming providers. The fact that it was unexpectedly launched on Donald Glover's website, withdrawn 12 hours later, then uploaded to streaming sites, together with its enigmatic album and song titles and blank white cover, may have had an adverse effect on its performance. Additionally, there was no usual promotional push, even with his poor sales in the first week, Gambino has garnered multiple Grammy Awards, a series of gold and platinum awards, and other honors in recent years.